just quieting down, baby. Per, per, per capita export value. Library. Minister, are you embarrassed by your behavior today? There's, there's a lot of bleeding hearts around. Do you have the fortitude or the gonads to stand up and come across here and say that to me, you son of a bitch? Just watch me. He certainly went too far, Mr. Speaker, when he I saw him stick his tongue out. Contemptuous disregard. More than a slab of bacon talking here. The disappointment you also feel is my responsibility. I lost my temper. What is the nature of your thoughts? The word was F-A-R-T. Welcome to another fan dally dozy episode of Canadian Politics is Boring. Welcome to a very sleepy time episode of... <sighs> Listen, Jesse, give them the hard sell with your Canadian passion and enthusiasm for what we're talking about. Politics is boring. So I'm, I'm Reese, a Welsh immigrant, and Jesse is an apathetic Canadian who does not give a shit. Not even one. And... I'm very um, backed up. Yep. <laughs> and... Um, politically backed up jesse harley <laughs> and i'm only one lesson ahead of him and i'm teaching him crazy stupid stuff in canadian politics because it isn't boring and the title's ironic and the amount of people who've told me <coughs> that um what kind of a name is that for a podcast because but because you're saying it's boring are you serious you get people actually talking to you about it no yeah. one's everyone everyone gets it when i talk to them you're like oh it's a funny title because it's called <coughs> it's called irony and some people have none of it yeah right yeah well yeah yeah. Some people just go, well, that's confusing. Kind of like my... You're just you know, trying to... You just say it's boring all the time. Like, yeah, it's just, you just, we just go, it's boring. It's like my inability to portray sarca sarcasm. I don't know why. If I'm sarcastic, no matter how sarcastic I am, nobody fucking gets it. I mean, no it's one. It's because you're so insincere. <laughs> like all the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, um, uh, Jesse, uh, what have you been? What have you been doing? STD zone. STD zone. Small, Small talk dimension. Dimensione zone. So the dimension zone. All okay. Um. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm written my writing my script. It's coming along quite well. Um. Cool. I, I'm just really. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> nothing. Uh, nothing horribly exciting. I guess it's October soon, or when by the time this comes out, it'll be October and. That fucking sucks. Um, Why? October's the best month of the year. It's because it's winter's just... coming. I like fall. I love it. I, do you know what? I woke up. I do, love, the, I do like fall. I woke I up in the middle of the night and I was freezing cold and it was brilliant because it's been so horrible and humid this summer. I know. I woke, I woke How up, much I, money you have. Why do you not have an air conditioner? I do, but I, I don't want to keep it on all night. It's expensive Why not? to run. It's not expensive. And I've got a lot of money. I've got four kids and they eat all of the money. <laughs> <laughs> all right fair yeah um, i think i think reese is in del is is delusional about just how wealthy he actually is i'm not wealthy no not at all what'd you do this summer what i do this summer yeah, yeah. What'd, you do, road what'd you do at your house this summer a road trip to quebec city yeah yeah but back at, after you after or before the road trip to quebec city what was this this big hole you put in your yard that's I weird built a swimming pool and a deck oh did you myself oh, that's cool uh, just by hand Rich people have people come in to do their pools. Like you did it all by yourself. I did it myself. Using Fuck off. YouTube. You, you did not. I did. No way. I did. Shut your front door. No fucking way. I won't. <laughs> My front door is staying open because this is the truth and it needs to fly through that door and hit you in the face. <laughs> you built a deck and built a swimming pool by yourself well, watching YouTube videos. Well, my daughter came to help me, but she dropped the drill and it pierced the lining of the pool. So then it was just back to me again. My wife did help as well a little bit all right i take it back that's really fucking impressive yeah like I said. holy shit all right thank you very much god damn all right my apologies <laughs> <laughs> i've been uh getting into the new series of amazing race canada do you, do you like those shows um I, I probably i don't watch them but <clears throat> the the only thing i hate about it i like the show always good stories good people entertaining people mm. um uh the only thing that i don't like about it is they constantly have brands do like drop things in with brands? I mean, that's just part of like, part well, of constant like, brands. Like they get to the end of the race and they're like, "Now, why don't you racers get to get to the end of the race and enjoy a nice cold can of 
guru organic energy drink. See, like I, I watch enough YouTube channels where like everyone does brand sponsorships because, you know, back in 2014 when YouTube was at its peak and making so many fucking YouTube millionaires and literally everybody was happy. I mean, everybody. YouTube was happy. People were happy because they were making amazing shows and the YouTube channel, like the YouTube makers, um, channel makers, YouTubers were exceptionally happy. Everyone was happy. And around 2014, YouTube's like, nope, we want all the money. Fuck you. And they just did a huge revamp. And all the YouTubers were like, well, I guess we're all getting sponsorship deals from other fucking companies now because YouTube's cheap as fuck and wants all the fucking money. This is as I'm I'm. No, I, 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 I guess <clears throat> the yeah. thing is, though, that so but so now I'm just used to if I have a YouTube channel that I really like. Um, they can't survive off of ads. No, they no. have to do sponsorships. But, and this is what I'm getting to, um, they don't just sneak it in. They just straight up tell you like, hey, this is, we're sponsored by this and now I'm going to talk about it. And it's just not like, they're not sneaking it into the fucking conversation. But that's the thing with the Amazing Race Canada. It's kind of almost like they try and weave it in as if it's part of the fun. Right, and that's stupid as fuck so, so, so and no one the, buys it. Like, the perfect example, they were bungee jumping <laughs> yeah. in British Columbia and they had to, there was a sign that they had to read what the sign says, but not just that, they had to get the new Samsung flip phone and they had to <sighs> video that it, as he went down to capture it on the, on the phone in order to, it's like, no, you could just, you've got eyes and a memory it was like one sentence, but they were like, no, if we do it on the flip phone and like, I was just hoping so everyone would drop the phone because they were bungee jumping. <laughs> but then, but That'd then, be very funny. but I feel like every, every like every, trying to slip it into the conversation is distracting and it just, it's it, easier just to go, Hey, this is an ad. Yeah, but like rather than go, because even they've got a um, like us, you and I, you and I have been known and have been told by so many people that when we record our own ads, they love it and they listen on purpose because it's us and we make it funny. Right. And I know YouTubers who do the same thing who like, oh, you got to weave it in like well, in a way that is like the right tone, but you, it's still an ad. It's still an ad. But like what I'm saying is like, I know YouTubers who like. They're so funny that when like, you know, it's an ad because they'll tell you it's a fucking ad, but then you listen to it because you know, the YouTubers are going to do a really funny, great job. Same with us. They listen to our ads because they know we're really I funny. They don't, I bet they skip. But. I don't think so. I've heard they like our ads. But Who's they? I don't know. How many people? My mom. Good. I'm glad your mother likes the ads. Okay. So we're all out. Everybody comes from his <laughs> no, mom. but the whole point is if they said, okay, this is a, like, we're sponsored by, by Samsung. Like, um, we're going to try to see if we can read this ad with the Samsung phone. Just that one little line. Imagine, one little line, you imagine know? if like, Jesse was like, ah, oh, do you know what? STD zone. I had a, I just recently bought a Buick Enclave. It's so spacious. <laughs> yeah. Even with all six of the family and the dog in there, it's sporty and goes around those corners in a way you could never imagine. Anyway, let's right. talk about some politics. If I did that, they would do. It's like that on the Amazing Race. I kind of feel with some of the brands. right. Or what if, like you know, we were doing an ad for say, and they just It'll wanted us. To, they just wanted us to list a bunch of stuff that you could or could not buy online, and we'd expect people to find that funny somehow. Exactly. That's such an in joke that only me, you, and one person. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so so <laughs> we did an ad, and it, I was very proud of it. I thought we did a great job. It was so funny. Was I listened funny. to it so many times. You, you, and then, you're editing, and then the, your this, comedic editing was great. And then this big brand that everybody knows, but we won't say it. I'm, I'm going to beep it because they basically gave feedback. You mean, they, you mean, do you mean? Are you talking about? Yeah, but I'm going to beep that. I just want you to, I just want to have a whole bunch of beeping in the show. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. So uh, the feedback was that they just thought that it's bizarre content and strange. <laughs> <laughs> they also said that we can't use the line lube. <laughs> I know. I was so upset about that. And you can't say order now or else. <laughs> and I, I'm just like, do you know what? Just do a... Fucking boring read. I was so angry. Could you tell how angry I, I was? was? Yeah, I was messaging Jesse. I was fuming. You were. You swore back to, or like you swore in an email back when responding to this. I was so angry because <laughs> I was just like we put so much time and effort into make something that we thought the audience would enjoy. The audience fun. would enjoy this. The audience, some, audience would have fucking loved this. And then ad. some plum in an ad agency <laughs> was like, "No, no, this doesn't match the we just it's podcast advertising. Just let us have a bit of fun." Yeah. If and if people laugh and it fits within the tone and the humor of the show, they're more likely to do it. <sighs> <laughs> there you I, I use there the you C go. word Not, so many times. The C word? Yeah. What's the C word? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I yeah. sent it to you in a message. I don't know how many times I sent it. Maybe bleep that too. <laughs> I will bleep that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it, was like, it was like a Sopranos episode. <laughs> so should we talk about some content? We should release the ad that we made, but just bleep the name. We of should the company. company. <laughs> <laughs> we'll t- no, do you know what? Do you know what? I got one better because uh, I will release it in full, but only behind the paywall for patrons to enjoy. Oh, okay. So if you want to hear the forbidden yeah. ad from the big global brand that shall not be named, then uh, you need to go to the behind the paywall because we won't release it publicly because that's not good. But if you're a special friend, knock yourself out. I love this. This is a great idea. Yeah. yeah. And if you're not a special friend, then you'll never know, which is why you need to give us your money. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, um, you could always just join for one month and then cancel if you want to hear. Don't th- tell them that. That's a minute long ad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to this episode, Jess. All right. The title. <clears throat> title of this episode is. The mayor who likes to run over cats. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. That's not going to be fun. Crazy mayor in Canada said he enjoyed killing cats and kittens with his truck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is real. Stefan Gendron, a small town mayor in Quebec and radio shock jock, has announced on his show he took pleasure in killing cats, especially newborns, with his car. When I see a cat in the street, I accelerate. Stray cats have no business on the street. So bang, I accelerate. The other day, I backed up on one. It was a newborn. I'm sure he didn't feel anything. The pickup truck ran over it like nothing. I was so happy. Yes, one less. You're fucking kidding. That was the quote from his show. There's no way this is real. There's no way. Well. This is fake, right? This is fake news. This is this think, is like a satirical show or something? I, I think he was joking. No, he's a politician and, he, he, like, and also a radio DJ. Oh, it would be like if someone took something that we said and just took it out of context and said like do you know recent jesse has spread in uh, a conspiracy theory that trudeau eats babies right exactly yeah yeah, like, yeah 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 cool you just, <laughs> it's not a joke <clears throat> right okay yeah it's not a joke it's, it's not a joke it's, no, no, yeah of course yeah. okay i see what you're saying so he was being very very facetious yeah so he was the mayor of huntingdon quebec not a very french name i can say it the only place i can say it Hunt- huntington is it haunting dong haunting haunting there you go hunting <laughs> there we go <laughs> so he's uh he was the mayor from 2003 to 2013 uh he was a radio host a tv host and a political analyst as well uh this was in 2013 this happened okay so the spca spca announced an investigation into the mayor of course because, <clears throat> what uh, show was he on what he did this? Just, i don't know some kind of like rate some city-wide radio show okay if you know what i mean it was the mass is he known for being a comedian no he's just known for being controversial and saying controversial controversial oh he things. said other shit okay oh, I've, got a, I've got a list of other stuff he oh said wow further okay. down. all right <laughs> so so he made an apology and he said i made a largely exact i made large largely exaggerated comments on the overpopulation of cats that constitutes a nuisance in our urban and rural areas so he wasn't he said a largely exaggerated so it implied that there was some truth to what he said. Hmm. It's just they maybe exaggerated it a little bit more. Okay, right. Um, I don't know if it means he likes killing cats, though. Well, it impl- implies that he thinks the cats should die. <laughs> All right. Because <laughs> he said they're overpopulated. It is, well, that doesn't mean, necessarily mean he thinks they should die, just that they should stop breeding so much, maybe. There's just too many of them. How do you stop, how do you stop a cat from breeding with a truck? Breeding with a truck. I mean, like if you like, you can't solve the overpopulation in a truck. No. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't know>. um, <clears throat> I myself have to deal with this problem on my property with many dozens of stray cats. How many? Look at this. How many fucking cats go into his house? <clears throat> he just right just... rubbing catnip on his dick, <laughs> sitting in the front lawn with his legs open. <laughs> oh, these cats are such a problem. <laughs> Now I need to cover cover this up by running them over so they can't tell my wife. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, is, is that a thing in Quebec? Killing cats? No, just cats turning up at your house. Dozens oh. of cats. No. Taking a shit in your kid's like sandbox. Not as far as I've experienced, no. I skunks. Wasn't. There's lots of skunks there. Um, I admit- Which is a weird thing to to just you're sitting outside enjoying a, a drink and, and then suddenly just a skunk walks by you three feet away i've had that happen i when i was in, <clears throat> when I was in cape breton no pei camping 
a skunk it was trying to get into our tent to steal all their cookies. Oh, really? It's quite cute. That's very cute. They are cute animals. Yeah. Just don't Stinky. Let them, just don't let them piss on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, they have like a 30 foot spray, which is insane. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. You could wield one like a super soaker. <laughs> Just give it a squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Pull its tail back, it's squeeze it like, like, a, like a bagpipe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Express the gland and then. <laughs> <laughs> so give it, give it, give it like a, have a command, <laughs> like a trained skunk. <laughs> Spray Bartholomew, spray! You just give it a little bit of cheese every time. <laughs> That's why we train Rosie with cheese. She loves cheese. Anyway. That's cute. I admit that the imagery used serves no purpose in advancing the debate on this issue. Cats turning up at his house. <laughs> um, for these reasons, I apologize. The use of dark humor was inappropriate in dealing with such a sub subject. I mean, like, saying that you like run over kittens. I, 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 don't I wonder, wonder if we're like... <clears throat> I wonder... Politicians know that they can say politicians and celebrities kind of are getting away with doing whatever they want as long as they have a, a heartfelt apology, right? It's like you can just do whatever the fuck and say whatever the fuck you want as long as you apologize for it afterwards. And it's just kind of par for the course. Like, oh, so and so has done a bad thing. Oh, but don't worry, they apologize. Well, it's like Bill Clinton said he didn't do anything to that woman, Monica Lewinsky. No, she did something to him. And <laughs> <laughs> I did not have sexual rights. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. That and good. then, and then, um, but then later he admitted that he did, mm -hmm. and the reason he, and he lied because he was uh, trying to protect people, his of course. family. And yeah, yeah. Uh, but and like, what if your apology? And everyone, and everyone were... was like, "Yeah," and he finished being president, right? Yeah, no, they just want an apology. What if your apologies? And then though, he went on Epstein's plane because <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Is that... I don't know. <laughs> there's lots. There's lots of people who may have been on his plane. right. Yeah. So I'm wondering if you if Horny people Bill could may have start been on like plane. because it's so par for the course apologizing what if you just started doing it with like a hint of sarcasm oh yeah no i'm really sorry for yeah i you know i really i guess i shouldn't have done that like you know that's i'm i'm sorry about that you know like just a hint just a touch and then like see how far you can push it the next 50 times you apologize for the weird shit you do you know, like, <laughs> i'm my, my, really my, sorry for what i did my favorite kind of <clears throat> apology is the non-apology where they kind of make it seem like it's an apology and say that they're apologizing. When you actually listen to the words, there's no actual apology. Oh, I know. I love it. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry that I was stood on, on that spot. I'm sorry that I got caught. I'm sorry <laughs> that I got caught. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and, you know, if I hadn't been caught, I wouldn't be here right now apologizing to you. I'm really sorry that that man's head got in the way of me swinging my baseball bat. Exactly. Wildly through the air. It was... Um, very coincidental that his head happened to be there at that time, and I am sorry that contact was made, uh, and I am sorry for uh, his family. Sorry for the laws of physics. Yes, sorry for the <laughs> laws of physics. There was nothing I could have done. I was swinging the baseball bat in that particular area anyway. Uh, exactly. <clears throat> yeah. L what rotten luck. <laughs> anyway, um, so he, he first got attention, like media attention, when he was mayor because he wanted to put a curfew that would have forced minors to stay off the street after 10 p.m. Because he wanted to try and reduce juvenile crime. All right. So which failed. Um, they took him to court. The uh, juveniles took him to court? You no, know, just people like civil liberties activists. They took him to court saying you can't stop kids from leaving their house. That's fair. Um, and it turned out that the crime spree that he was talking about was actually caused by adults afterwards. <laughs> anyway, so that's funny. It would have kept the kids off the street who were potential witnesses to allow the adults to do more crimes. <laughs> um, he then called uh, in 2005. He called Quebec Premier Jean Charest a murderer um, because they wouldn't subsidize a new breast cancer drug, and he was then apologized after being served legal papers. Okay, <clears throat> I mean um, that is yeah. All right. Um, and also he was accused. I'm sorry for calling him a murderer. I shouldn't have done that. Like, you know what I mean? Exactly. This is, oh my God, I thought about that. Like, you know when, like, could that hold up as, oh my God. Okay, so I've thought of this for a long time. If you are called as a witness 
in a uh, in court, right? And you're and you're put up on the witness stand, and people are typing down what you say, and you respond with accurate words, but in such a sarcastic tone. You know, like was that would that be accepted as? Oh, so you mean, is it, it's like in the um, the intonation and the tone. Yeah, the same, yeah, but the words up. that you're saying are still fact. I'm sure they can just add notes saying in brackets, sarcastic tone implies. I suppose, right? But well, like, what if they're just like. What would they say? You know, like d- 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 he said he did not murder him in a sarcastic way that implies that he did. I guess, but like, would the judge say anything to you? Like, can you fucking stop that? I, also, <laughs> I, I think like, I think the jury would wrong? pretty make their mind up pretty quickly as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, would it have an impact? Like, <laughs> um, he also like if a, you really don't want to re- <laughs> like be on the stand, but you have no choice, right? You could just say the words that are factual, but in a sarcastic tone. You right? Could. Oh, can you please stop doing that? Sir, oh, I had a stroke. Sorry, this is the way I talked out. Like, just you know. <laughs> I don't. Is there evidence that strokes cause permanent sarcasm? Sure. Cool. This okay. is a show about information, and I'm just making that up right now. <laughs> so that's, there you go. Facts. Two heard, facts. I heard a story about someone who had a, I think they had a brain tumor or something, and they ended up speaking with a different accent. Oh, that was brought up yesterday by someone about how that's, uh, I heard about that. Uh, it's, it's crazy. It's it's weirdly coincidental that you talked, it was two days ago that it was brought up, but it was, uh, there's a term for it, where you, yeah, you wake up from a coma or something, and suddenly you can speak an entirely different accent, that even if you've never been introduced to it before. It's very strange. It's strange. It's pretty cool. It shows how weird the brain is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so he kept, he said awful things about lots of different things. Um, he was sacked from his show and then has been to host other shows in Montreal and other places. Um, he always says controversial things that stir um, issues up with Israel and he's um, and kind of um, how the government operates there. Uh, and then after all this, because mm. of his background of controversy yeah. and getting in the media for all the wrong reasons and then having legal papers sent and all this other stuff going on, the Conservative Party of Canada were like, holy shit. Let's get this guy Let's get this guy. <laughs> Let's get this guy <laughs> This is the kind of up-and-coming talent we need to stir <laughs> things up a bit. That sounds about right. Um, and they, um, they offered for him to run for a federal candidate in 2008. That's amazing. And he declined. Uh, really? Oh, okay. And instead he endorsed Bloc Quebecois. Um, and I think this is the most telling thing about the Conservative parties is that you've never heard of and will never hear of a conservative, I mean, a really conservative stand-up comedian. Um, there are there are right-leaning, like, conservative really? comedians. No, like, professional comedians. There, you know I, there, I mean? are, there are people out there who do it, and they like to... Really? Yeah, there are, but I would say that it's not the main it's kind of the fringe it's not the mainstream of comedy i'd love but to a lot of people out there who if do you could send, send me a link i'd love to i've never heard of this ever there's a bunch of you know there's this there's a whole ecosphere of like alternative right-wing comedy like it's not that they comedy actual funny comedy yeah but the thing is with like more right-wing comedy is that it typically punches down to the wrong people uh okay all right so, i'd still like to see it i'd still be very so, interested and there's, to see it. and there's yeah. an audience for that I guess, yeah. yeah. I want to go and hear someone like punch down on people who can't punch back <laughs> kind of thing. And also, um, but I, honestly, I think comedy is one of the few spaces where people do say controversial stuff and can get away with it, um, whether you agree with it or not. Mm. Anyway, that was just a random thought I had. <clears throat> yeah. Let's hear some controversial shit that this guy said. I just listed it all. That was it. What? I, I, I gave you a list of all the controversial stuff he did. Oh, I thought you said you had a list of controversial things he said. Like well, he had more things that he said. Well, that was it, really. I told you. <coughs> I called, called somebody a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. He did do that. Uh, there was the whole cat sex scandal. You know, well, Sex? I'm joking. Oh, okay. He said about all the cats that keep turning it. So it was oh, the, mur- it, it was oh, the murder thing and it was the cats thing. And that- the, the curfew. Oh, yeah, right. And stirring problems, talking about, like, different international relationships. And also um, uh, being sacked for saying horrible things and then getting new, new shows and stuff. And then, yeah, basically being conservatives going, 
Mm. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> you upset people. Just we want you. <laughs> show up at his head and yeah. his house and just kind of pet him, pet his head until he wakes away. To wakes, be a conservative MP, up. you need the kind of steely, steely, steely determination that means you go, you're willing to run over a kitten. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the test, actually. That's they the put test. you in a truck and they, like, on a, like a one lane highway, <laughs> just with a cat in front of you, a kitten, right? And they're like, if you want this job, you know what to do. Like, you know? <laughs> this is what it takes. That's <laughs> <laughs> the initiation of the conservative race. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whereas if you're on the left, you'd give that kitten an arts grant for a million dollars. Never ask where the money went. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This yeah. all works. <laughs> Just trying to give some balance. <laughs> <laughs> and free health care for that kitten for life. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, that was fun. What's his name again? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> ba ba Barry Katz <laughs> Stefan Gendron Stefan Gendron Stefan Gendron 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 <laughs> Sounds like a transformer Gend Yeah, Gendron Or a Star Wars planet Yeah, that's better No, yeah, yeah, Star Wars planet Okay, Gendron A planet of cat people <laughs> 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 Nomadic cat people Always on the run from Stefan <laughs> In a giant intergalactic truck. I was getting weird. <laughs> <sighs> it always gets weird by the end, Jesse. I know. Yeah, this is just. And no, show. If, if people listen to the end, good for them. If not, I don't blame them. <laughs> right. Let's just see how long we can drag this out. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Cool. So, um, thank you, everyone. If you want to hear the forbidden ad for the major global brand then you need to become a patron and we'll put it on there. Yep. Um, if you hear a really dull ad from that brand read by us, then uh, you'll know what, you'll get to hear the non-entertaining version of what we did. Yeah, we're doing it for, for spite and for money. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> I'm going to beat that. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>